Hey, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, what is going on for you guys? What is happening? Um, I'm going to be doing a live on March 20th, um, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, the time of the equinox. There's also a full moon going on. There's, we're also still in Mercury retrograde, so there's lots of things. I feel like there's old templates getting blown up. Uh, old relationship templates and paradigms of how we're doing things, really challenging us to expand, really challenging us to expand. All right, Earth sign, let's see what's going on for you guys. You betcha. Check this out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Getting woken up. There's going to be a lot more people waking up to this new way of doing things. Earth sign, I feel like you're connected with somebody who is um, closed off. Oh boy, you guys are closed off from each other. I feel like you guys are, wow. All right, somebody's connected to a fire sign. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Ace of Wands. Uh, you could be, you could be um, with somebody and you're, Moving toward a new person, overarching energy of the reading. Remember what I said about blowing up paradigms? Yeah, Emperor Aries energy, right? Moving in on March 21st. Aries energy, Aries Leo Sag. There's somebody here who is your life partner and you know who they are. They could be a secret right now. You know who they are. Okay. Okay. Also feels like it's taking action based on your knowing. All right. Brand new paradigm, brand new energy, brand new shift. So somebody here um, who has been somebody here is very closed off and all about uh, obligation. I, I think I said that in the water sign one. I'm not sure which one, water or fire, something about that. Somebody's very closed off, doing too much of the work. They're kind of done with this. They're moving on from this, wanting to move on from this, wanting to drop the obligation. But they're very closed off. They're not talking. They're just moving away, okay? So they could be moving away from a bad situation where they feel total obligation, okay? This feels like you, two of swords, you're not talking to that other person who is in that obligation, or you're not talking to a partner yourself, okay? Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups. So it could be a younger water sign, or it doesn't have to be younger. It could be a water sign coming in, making an offer, okay? You could be connected to a water sign who's moving on. I feel like um, it does, you, go, you guys don't have to be fire signs or whatever, but that fire sign energy is, there's a lot of passion, okay, when we see fire sign energy. There's a lot of passion, taking passionate action toward on based on your knowing, based on your intuitive sense of a person. So this other person could be in a relationship where they are feeling overwhelmed and burdened and they're moving on from it. They're coming toward you, making an offer for you. This is the right person for you. You could have been very closed off to relationship up until now. It's like you've been waiting for the right person, okay? You've been just waiting and waiting and waiting. Yes, four of wands, so, uh, twin flame soulmate. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting for somebody to come along, for the right person, not just somebody. And so you've sort of been like putting yourself on hold, not really doing anything, not really doing anything in the relationship you're currently in because you know that's not the right relationship for you. You're being told that. You're listening to your dreams, You're wanting this kind of love, and it's coming. It's it's here. It's here. This new person is the right person for you. All right? Ace of Wands. Brand new start. Brand new potential. Passionate potential. This person that you might be connected to really has had um, a bad time of it, too. They've been in a relationship that has been a very big burden on some level, some kind of obligation. Okay. 
All right, Earth sign, we're going to use a separate deck to do the extended. The link is below. I will see you over there.